Hello guys, welcome back to another YT Exotics video. Really excited because this is the video that I was telling you about in the last one and uh, it's finally here. So I didn't realise he was going to send it as priority mail. So it came really early this morning. I've left it for about three hours. Uh, three or four hours, yeah. So it's a good amount of time. So first up I want to address the title. And... Uh, I'm actually going to call the house spawn that's in here the devil. It was just a little homage to the Dark Den. This is probably the most excited I've been for an unboxing video yet. I've wanted one of these for so long. For me and a lot of others, this is the holy grail of centipede species. And it's got to be, because it cost me an arm and a leg. So yeah, this box is huge. Handy if I had one of those those slidey cutters. I don't know what they're called. There we go. Let's just adjust this a little bit. Still a couple of bits on the side of mist. Okay. That's a lot of packing peanuts, guys. Okay, there we go. We've got a double box. It's obviously to keep the heat in, because it's getting a little bit cold now. So I'm going to need to unbox this one. Two seconds. There we go. Just one more piece to do to unbox it. This order came from the spider shop, by the way, guys. So uh, as you can see, Lee's packaging is amazing as always, and he really took the time for this one as it's such an expensive order. Here we go. More packing peanuts. We have a heat um, heat pack here, still really warm. First up we have my live feeder food, Dubia Roaches. So two orders from the spider shop today guys. Here is a species of tarantula I've wanted for ages, I've just never got around to owning one. This is a Fauna Palma Calcodes, New River. And uh, I really like this species of spider. They've got drab coloration but um, they get really chunky bodies. Uh, and their carapace is really high, They're like a little tank. So I don't actually have an enclosure prepared for this one, I'm just going to put it in something temporary. Here we go. Oh, she's coming out already. Oh, amazing. The size of the carapace on this species. So yeah, this isn't a fully grown adult. Obviously, it's got a bit of growing to do. Um, I hold her, will she bite me? I've heard that this species is unusually docile. So, but then saying that again, it's been wrapped up for a little while. Yeah, just disproportionate size carapace and chelicerae. As you can see, right. Here we go. 
So yeah, just a sweet tub, guys. But I'm going to set this one up a proper enclosure. Let's get you in. It'd be handy if I had my tweezers on me, wouldn't it? She's gorgeous, really nice. Nope. So I heard these can get to about seven inches, which would be massive. As you can see the build of them, they're just like little tanks. One down. Okay, here we go, guys. So, what I'm going to do is just move all this, get the tub ready, and put that over the top of it. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Okay, I can see this already. Uh, what we've got in here is the world's largest species of centipede. This is Scolopendra gigantea. I think that's how you pronounce it. And uh, this can get to about 12, 13 inches. This one is the white leg morph. So last time I unboxed a centipede, it nearly took my face off. Uh, I'll attach a link to that in the description. And okay, that was very close. Let's get her and or him in the enclosure. Couldn't tell you about the size, it's definitely not as big as I was expecting. Uh, but then saying that, it's probably got a lot of growing to do. Here we go. Just put this down here, be the best way to do it. So yeah, it's believed guys that this species of centipede is the biggest, like I said, but um, there is two other centipede species that get close, and that is Scolopendra galloponensis and Scolopendra iridicornis. And there's a few others that get quite similar as well. Okay, here we go. Hold on a second, she's a bit bigger than I thought she was. Oh, I just love the colours on them, guys. Amazing. Just checking its enclosure. Yeah, that is about 8 inches body length. So definitely not fully grown yet. But big enough. But it's not just the, the size of it, it's the colour as well. I think this species looks the nicest. And uh, I watch a lot of Alan Heakins videos, aka the Spider Man, and he has one of these as well. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty big, guys. My hand there, my hand is over 8 inches, my hand's about 8 and a bit. 
and the centipede's easily the size of my hand, so yeah. normally supposed to do this but since I've let it settle for a while I'm just going to try and offer it a dubia roach and see if it'll actually want to take it for the camera so normally I don't do this guys but let's just see what happens oh hold on a second she's trying to reach up for the end whew if that was any bigger it would have it would have reached the end here we go oh straight away she's got it Made a right meal of that. There we go. Get the camera just a little closer. Oh, just look at the colours. Really pop. That's amazing. So yeah, I had a Scolopendra subspinips uh, probably about six, seven years ago. It did die, unfortunately, one day just randomly out of the blue. But it, I'd say it was about the same size as this. And these definitely get bigger. So this one has, has got a lot of growing to do. But it's big enough, let's just put it that way. You never know guys, I might start getting into centipedes more now. There's a few other species I'd like. The ones I mentioned earlier as well. Especially, but they will run you a, a huge price range. So, uh, yeah, cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> well, I really hope this grows even bigger. Because it would be nice to see this thing get to like 10 inches. So um, it's it's big enough. Let's put it that way. All right, guys, the video is getting kind of long now. I am um, going to finish with one quick shot of that and the other spider. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this, because I do unboxing videos every so often. Um, she's that's the Fauna Palma. Well, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.